Welcome back, Achievers, to your regularly scheduled Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast for the week of June 10th. Technically June 9th, but we just hit the midnight mark where we live, so technically yeah, we it's did. the next day. We've been quite busy recording the Summer's Game Fest recap that we just did. Yep, yep, yep. A little bit earlier right now, go check that out, of course, on the podcast service or YouTube of your choice. Thank you so much for joining us this week. Remember... It's easy to support us. You can like, comment, subscribe on the very video that you're watching right now, or you head over to patreon.com slash to pay us a couple bucks. That's the ultimate tier of supporting. Now, you can do it for free for algorithms, five-star review, the podcast, of course, all that stuff, but enough of that. Let's get into the show. Now, we usually have rapid fire, but before we do that, Alex, I like to ask hmm. you one singular question, but before I do that... Okay. I almost forgot the introductions. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting across from me digitally, as always, is Alex. Hello. How are you? <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right, Baymax. Yep. They're doing a new show, right? It's called I Baymax, so. right? I think it's just yeah, called Baymax. I think it's yeah. just called Baymax. I love Big Hero 6. Don't want to yes. see it ever again, though, because it's a good... <laughs> Boom. Over. You know? Okay. Okay. You now, said you did... you're... So you're saying you don't want, like, a sequel? Nah, because it was a good show. Now, if we ever want a sequel, of course, Kingdom Hearts 3 at a Big Hero 6 level. Mm -hmm, that's kind of mm -hmm. like... That's sort that, of the... That's for me. Yeah, that's kind of like a sequel if you want to think about yeah. it that way. Yeah. Anyways, this is not a Big Hero 6 fan cast. This is the Easy Shivers Game Podcast. I gave you all the schmuggle schmilg already, so I'm not going to bore you again. But before we get into the news, I ask Alex every, uh, every single week a singular question. That question is, Alex, what have you been playing? So I tried a little game that came on Game Pass uh, recently. It's called uh, Chorus. Yes. Yes. I, I always have to say, it's, is it Chorus? Is it Chorvis? I say is Chorvis. I, I know it's Chorus, but yeah, it's, Chorus. Yeah. it's their fault, but, really. It's a flight sim, you know, like dog fighting space battle. I like it. It's really, it's really fun. It definitely like it's, looks cool. I haven't played it. it, it surprisingly, the like the the maneuvering and the mm. way you move and stuff, okay. the, it, it feels good. Like like you know, normally when you fly, play like a flight sim or it's a dog fighting game, you're like everywhere. You're like, oh god, I have to figure out how to control this. Whoa. That's kind of like why I kind of was like eh, on squadrons. Um, but this one actually plays really well. I like the way it is. I actually kind of like the story, so I want to get more into it. It has, it has, there's an open, it's not open world because you're not on a world, open space. space. <laughs> yeah, but no, it's, I, I'm enjoying it. I want to get yeah. back to it. Um, other than that, I mean, just playing little things here and there to uh, to go into my uh into my platinum log i went back to order 1886 forgot mm. how cool that game is like great just, game like, ready at dawn uh, forever. yep yep i'm going back to platinum it because i didn't when i first played it i think i was missing collectibles and that's really all i was missing so i just gotta go back and get the collectibles easy platinum if i remember oh yeah yep that finishing last of us part two for the platinum just i'm missing just i'm just missing abby's upgrades and that's it and then i had the platinum for that Speaking of that, we just heard that the Last of Us One remake is coming back. So hopefully they have a, a, a better trophy list, which they will because there's no online in this one. So that is hopefully a good platinum. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Uh, hopefully. And really quickly, I wanted to. S I was mm -hmm. I wanted to see what uh, Ready at Dawn's been up to since Order eighteen gotcha. six in February 20, uh, 20, 2015. They've made Deformers, which I didn't know they made that. Whoa, they made really? Deformers, Lone Echo, Echo Arena, Echo Combat, and Lone Echo 2. All that, all that is Oculus Rift games. Or Meta Quest. You'd like to call it that. Interesting. Yeah, so they went VR. I believe they were purchased. Interesting. Um, am I wrong? Sorry, really? Chiefers, I really need to know this now. Yeah, the studio is a part of Oculus Studios. It was bought June 2020. I had to double check on wow. that. Yeah, that's why we will never see them again. Although, of course, Sony has the IP, so they could do anything, but we'll never see that game ever again. That's, which is a shame. I wish we, yeah. I wish we would get a sequel. I mean, Especially because it ends. Do. 
it ends on a cliffhanger. Yeah, yeah, it does. I mean, but like, um, we, they, I guess that they did the portable God of War games, Ghost of Sparta, Origins Collection. Yeah, I was only reading from. Oh, gotcha. But yeah, yeah they gotcha. did that too. I <laughs> have been busy with Naruto. I yeah? spoke about this last week, but I've been doing a rewatch of Naruto Shippuden, enjoying it mm-hmm. very, very much. So much fun. Just past the pain arc, if you guys might know what that is, if you watch the show, I'm going to the Five Kage Summit. I'm skipping the fillers, so I know that sounds like a lot of episodes. Not really if you skip the ones where you're just, I'm, just, I'm not watching that again. I'm not watching some of the, some of the stuff where they're like revisiting. No, 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 no. I don't need to know about the five tales. I don't need to know these people. Watch every single minute of I'm it. not doing it. I'm not doing it. It's too much. Just it like Dragon Ball Z, where you got to watch these episodes where they, they're just hanging out barbecuing mm-hmm. it's like okay yeah. i can get a couple it's, it's, episodes in but like i'm not re-watching i've already watched it once i'm not doing it again yeah right. so i'm just watching the fun stuff if i'm being real uh loving that there was a sale on the naruto storm trilogy and they gave us naruto storm for last month so i now have the complete series on playstation that i want to now replay to get platinums on mm-hmm. those games so i will be revisiting those i might have to skip one because i forgot how bad it was if i'm being honest real bad not nearly as good as uh, two, and it doesn't even touch three and four. Three and four are some of the best ones. So I yeah. will be probably busy with that. I am currently playing Suikoden and one again. I'm gonna try and play the, all that all the way through because I lost my save on Vita, unfortunately. Um, that's mm. actually I have it right here. I busted out my Vita because I want to play Suikoden and two, and you can import your save. I don't know what happened. I don't have my save anymore um, mm. on this device. I'm going to. It, you know what? I'm just thinking now. Maybe it's in one of my um, memory cards. Memory cards, yeah, because you remember they had proprietary memory cards. Yeah, they have, yeah, but I didn't really switch them that often, so I don't know why it would be in a different one. But maybe I'll try that, and I'll see if I can find it somewhere, because I really don't want to play all the way through Sukuna 1 again. But if I do have to, I will. Yeah, I was about to say, you're going through all the Suikoden's like I did all the Dark Souls. Yep. Yep. Suikoden 1 isn't bad, it's just... I really want to play two. So it's not really yeah. that I don't want to play one. I just really want to play two. But, mm-hmm. you know, I'm going to go go through so we can one again. I'll probably um, do a semi fast playthrough. I do need to get all the people, but I could do that pretty quickly with a with a guide. So I'm just going to use guide. Just knock that out really quick. Uh, aside from those couple things that I mentioned, pretty slow ish week. In other words, me and the wife will probably watch Obi-Wan. New episodes out of that. Right, up to date. We still need to watch Stranger Things. Me and the wife have been pretty Already lax. It. Pretty lax on the Stranger <laughs> Things, so we need to do that. We've been watching a lot of Critical Role because they yeah. released a new of kind of block of stuff. Me and her love watching that because yeah. it's easy to put on. So we might do that. But aside from that, that's really all we have to update. Yeah, behind I haven't started The Boys, which I need to. I do too. I actually do too. I might I do haven't that watched that yet. Oh no! Yeah, because I'm trying to finish idea. Ozark. I'm almost done. Good. It's such a good show. Halfway through season three, man. Almost season four left. Oh, I'm like, so, oh, so good. Anyways, let's get to the show, Alex. Yeah, let's rapid get to fire it. for the week. E3 has stated, uh, of course, this is the ESA stating this, that E3 will be back in 2023. I believe it week. when I see it. The ESA the might not have year. money anymore, so we'll have yeah. to see if they can even afford to do this. But I hope. That we get something, because Jesus, I don't want to see it go away. Be honest. Yep. Because then, what else do we have? This is a quick one. So, Summer Games Fest seemingly teased about possibly maybe having a physical location. This might be nothing. This might be something. This is half rumor roundup, half rapid fire kind of thing here. So, there was a Twitter exchange between <clears> Jeff <throat> Keeley and um, Nightbellion, which is a kind of a kind of big. Um, what would you call him? I guess, I guess an influencer, ins- insider, influencer guy. He retweets a lot of stuff, and he's like, you know, he's in the know. I, I don't even know what you call him. He's very similar to a bunch of other people who are like, you know, they're kind of insiders. They're kind of not. They were. He's an inside. He's a, he's an inside tweeter. Yeah, I guess so. Anyways, but um, <laughs> Nibelian, uh was commenting. Uh, the only thing Summer Games Fest doesn't have is a physical location like E three, and they would, you know, he would replace E three. And Jeff Keighley just had an eyes emoji at Nebelian, and I'm like, okay, so he could be hinting something there. That's literally all I'm going to bring up there. I don't, if they do have a physical location, it won't be for a long time, but 
maybe that's something Jeff wants to do. Yeah. Uh, and uh, hopefully it's better whenever they do that. Uh, spoilers for our thoughts on the Summer's Game Fest. <laughs> <laughs> We have a small comment about the exclusivity of Activision Blizzard games after the purchase of the company by Microsoft. Uh, I'm going to make fun of this, so get ready. As part of a media briefing, Matt Booty said the following, quote, If we acquire a game that comes with a big community across a number of platforms, we feel that it's our job to be caretakers, to be shepherds, to continue to build and nurture that community, not to cut it up in pieces and try to take some of it away, end quote. So, that is a way of saying absolutely nothing by saying quite a bit. What mm-hmm. does any of that mean? <clears throat> I don't know. If we acquire a game that comes with a big community, how big? How much? How many people have to buy it? Is it sales related or is it the amount of impressions that it gets? Uh, caretakers and shepherds? What does that mean? Are you re what? It's, all this is weird. I'm tired of hearing this. Stop talking about it until we can talk about it. Once the sale gets through, then we can answer all these questions. Just don't answer them. No comment. What does this even mean? It reminds me of when Phil Spencer gets asked a question sometimes and he can't really answer it. So he yeah. he gives you a paragraph of just nonsense and you're like, nonsense. what did you just say, man? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, It's a little frustrating. Halo, Inv- <sighs> Sorry. Halo Infinite is getting a public test in July. It'll be a flight for Halo Insiders. It's going to be based around the co-op campaign. So you'll be able to to test out the uh, campaign co-op for basically like beta. You'll be invited. All you have to do is just like basically if you already did this for the beta of the original Halo Mm -hmm. Infinite, you're already signed up for this. All you have to do is make an account, make sure all your stuff is updated. I think there's something you have to check in your settings. It's been a while, but you know open it back up click around you should be fine if you have an up-to-date halo insiders uh account i think they will email you um xbox game pass coming to samsung tvs uh june 30th so we went from talking about this for years to it's happening in a month so here we go in 20 days if you have a samsung tv and alex correct me if i'm wrong it has to be a brand new samsung tv so literally i believe it has to be i believe it has to be a 2022 model then you will be able to stream game pass games which is pretty cool but you have to have the brand new tv so this is something kind of cool that a lot of people will be able to take advantage of in the future because i know there's not many people buying a new tv every year mm. but there's a couple people probably needing an upgrade that this could justify the cost you could buy this all you need is a controller and you bluetooth it to the tv yeah but uh, as far yeah. as i understand it was only 2022 alex also at the time cooperated but he's being a, a good co-host and double checking on us uh, while he does that i will move along alex stop me whenever you find uh, a bona fide answer uh cool. next uh, last rapid fire for the week sonic frontiers we got a quick look at it uh through some ign spots and trailers alex i think it looked awful if i'm being honest uh the I can't believe they showed that. I mean, hey, kudos to them. They have guts. Uh, I don't think a lot of people understand that this game is in development, although it is pretty soon. But this game is still in development. There was a lot of clip-ins. There was a, a the draw distance was terrible. The there was a bunch of issues. It looked very bland. Uh, I wanted to pull it because I know a lot of people are excited about this. I just do not think this is the game that people are getting excited about. I think it's going to be pretty bad. Alex, do you disagree? What did you think of the kind of... We got a couple gameplay looks. I watched a whole... I think it was five minutes. IGN did a th- uh, a part of, a part of their um, IGN first. They kind of debuted the game a bit. Showed a little bit. It, it looked pretty bad. What did, you, what did you think? And this is for Sonic, right? Sonic Frontiers, yes. Yeah, I just, I'm, I'm excited to play the game open world because I, I, I'm one of those people that I played the 360 one. I didn't love the game, but at the time of me playing it, I enjoyed it. If I go back to it now, problem then not gonna have fun. When you with say it. 360 game, are you talk- talking about the, the 2006 the, game, right? The, correct, Sonic the Hedgehog, the one that had silver and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, man. Just simple, no. making sure the audience knows. I feel like I will enjoy this when I play it, but I'm worried that it's gonna be 
like you said, too bland. There's not gonna be have enough in the world. I feel like it's all I see is rocks. Well, I mean, like, is there any? Is there any life? Is there any other characters? Like, I'm hoping we'll see. Maybe if we go into town, do we see Amy? Do we see Tails? Do I see the? I mean, like, I don't know. Like, I feel like it's gonna. I feel like I'm hoping that it's not just Sonic in this world fighting robots or some shit. They did have a Sonic Central that I refused to cover because it was nonsense. I can't mm -hmm. believe I watched that. I wanted to make sure there was nothing of note for the show. Um, mm -hmm. You're welcome, Achievers. <laughs> that was all. That, that was terrible. They did show a prologue to the game that had Knuckles. So maybe, maybe we'll have Knuckles in the game. I don't know. But there is a prologue called Sonic Frontiers Prologue, and it had Knuckles next to, mm -hmm. I think, a Chaos Emerald. I think that's what that was. So there you go. Yeah. So by the way, for the for the TV thing, yes, it is a 2022 TV. Yeah. So it has to be brand spanking new. Yep. So yeah, you are required to have the a 2022 TV, a uh, Bluetooth controller, and and Game Pass Ultimate. Yep. That's important. No, I did not say that. You have to have Game Pass Ultimate to be able to do that. Correct. But yes, you need it. Yeah, all the new 2022 TVs are the ones that are bringing in the feature. So nothing before that. Sucks. Rumor Roundup. This is via Tom Anderson. This is pretty crazy. So Hideo Jima is apparently working on a horror game titled Overdose. And it stars actress Margaret Qualley, which is Mama from Dark, Mama. Uh, uh, Darth Stranding. The game is playable in third and first person. Uh, there wasn't much past that. What's even funnier, Alex, mm. uh, and a couple of people reported on this, Kojima Productions apparently tried to bring down this post. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, they requested it to be taken down. So Kojima Productions actually reached out to Tom Henderson and tried to get him. So he's... Um, uh, Tom Henderson is a, uh, uh, a reporter that uh, and I think he published this on Try Hard Guides, if I remember correctly. And, um, yeah, Hideo Jima just came out and was like, hey, can you take that out? And it's like, uh... What? <laughs> no. So, that was pretty funny. I guess it's true. Uh, otherwise, why would he try to take it down? And I also assumed they didn't think he would then immediately tell them that he tried to take it down. So, this kind of tells you this is 100% true almost, but I still put in a rumor around it because, you know, it's still technically a rumor, and so it's 100% mm -hmm. proven. Uh, we'll be going into this soon, so I'm not going to do that. Jeff Grubb stated um, on one of his many shows, and it was reported pretty widely, that there is only, quote, a skeleton crew, end quote, left working on the necessary components of Battlefield 2042. Um, not surprising at all. There's, I mean, why keep people on there? It's clearly dead you know so abandon ship while you can i assume that, that, that game i i'm pretty done buying battlefield games which alex did we even buy that one uh, no we didn't we didn't buy battlefield no. now so i can't even say i'm done i i, I even I, i've been done with free and i still didn't play it yeah so i'm i'm pretty done with battlefields until they prove yeah. something because it, it they're clearly not learning so i'm mm -hmm. not i'm not giving them my money yeah, um, that is not necessary. Okay, right. that's that's all of rumor around. Oh, Jesus, so. Cheevers, give me one second. Yeah, back. No, take your time, dude. I will get into the next Hold show. The so that is gonna be rumor roundup for the week. We're gonna go into the actual new show now. Microsoft announced Project Morecroft. This is a weird one. So this is an initiative for devs to release demos straight to Game Pass, seemingly to combat the similar feature available on PS Plus Premium. As a part of being on Xbox Game Pass, devs will have the option to include a demo for the games on their service. When asked what uh, uh, the positives of the uh, for the developers releasing these demos, head of Xbox Game Studios says the following. Of course, this is Matt Booty. It's important to us that everything we do. Oh, sorry. Quote. It's important to us that everything we do has benefits for both our players and for creators. So as a part of this, we've set up the program and structured it so that developers get financial compensation for the game. It actually benefits them financially, and they can also get benefit of the great feedback as well, end quote. And I'm sorry, uh, uh, that was Sarah Bond 
who gave that quote, not Matt Booty. I apologize for that. Uh, so that's Sarah Bond giving that quote. Alex, we were just talking about uh, Microsoft is giving uh, incentive incentivizing devs to put demos on Xbox Game Pass now, and they're actually mm. going to benefit them financially too. I don't know into what extent how much that is or any of that nature, but apparently they're going to try and I think pretty clearly trying to combat the similar service that's on PlayStation Plus Premium. And- now, I think it's funny because I feel like it's a jab because there was a we'll have the option to include it. Yeah, this will definitely be an option. Now, it, I think it was different with um, PlayStation where, yeah, I think it, it was, was if you're over about 35 bucks, you have to do it, which mm-hmm. is pretty crazy. Uh, now, that is different. It's a game trial, which is a lot easier versus a demo, which you have to like, fit, you know, you have to make a demo versus a trial. So interesting. You have I I don't. I mean, we're long past the days that I care about demos only because I have YouTube. So, like, I yeah. can just YouTube a game, so I don't really need demos. This doesn't do anything for me. I think you should have the option for trials, honestly, for the people who don't have a lot of money for games, who need to know they would need to like a game. So I just like having the option for trials or just mm-hmm. having a more robust return system yeah. to be able to try a game out and return it if you don't like it, if you've played 30 minutes or an hour or something. Uh, Alex, anything to add to this? Do you care at all about the demos? Do you think this is? I mean, I, th- I mean, I think it's cool. I probably will use will use it. I'm I've always been a demo guy. You're, yeah, you you're kind of um you're very explore ex, ex, explorative. That's a word. Yeah. So like, sure. yeah, I mean, like, Pretty, I mean, like, you explore I'm, gaming a lot. So oh, for sure. I, yeah, I mean, like, I mean, if I see if I see a game and I'm like, that looks kind of cool. I want to <laughs> try it. Like, I mean, like I tried. Uh, what was a game that I just played recently? That Norse mythology game, Upsalov. I was like, I was like, oh, I mean, I like, I thought it was fun, but I was like, it kind of lost me, and I was like, okay, not for me, and I was done. It, like, if they do that, like, just in a demo, I mean, at least I know that if I want to stick with it, then I'll buy it. So, uh, I mean, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, so I'm kind of the same mind here. I will probably be incentivized for some things, but. The weird thing, if it's in Game Pass, I could just download the game, so I don't understand why I would care if there's a demo for the game in Game Pass. I don't know. Maybe there was some crossing of wires. They did technically announce this, so this is pretty much how it's going to work. If it's on Game Pass, they have an option of putting a demo on it, but I would just download the game, so I don't know why I would want a demo, unless I'm missing something here. I... um, I, unless there are games that are coming to game pass before it is on there you can download the demo to try it before it's on game pass maybe or maybe you don't have maybe you don't have to have a game pass subscription to try it and it's to incentivize you to get game pass yeah maybe it'll be like oh yeah you could try this game that's on game pass if you want to try it and then you know you also get all these other games yeah i don't i don't know but i know it's probably i'm probably not gonna utilize it too much but it's a cool feature to have are we getting games finally? This is sticking with Microsoft. Well, if we believe their recent statement to the press, we may very well be. Microsoft said its intent is to, quote, meet or exceed, end quote, the number of games launched in fiscal year of 2022. As a refresher, this includes all the following. Age of Empires 4, Flight Simulator, Psychonauts 2, Halo Infinite, and Forza Horizon 5. So about five games. So they plan to either meet five games or exceed five games coming from their first party studios. Cool. Alex, I think, or I, I kind of hope that this happens. Um, I don't want a return to the Microsoft that... I constantly have to say the games are coming. So they are now on the board saying you're getting five games this year. So we'll have to see if this actually happens or at least uh, in the fiscal year. Yeah, no, for sure. I just will believe it when I see it. I will as well. Alex, this Mm. is a short news week for the week. There wasn't too much, especially because the game awards, uh, sorry, not game awards, summer games fest majority of the news was there and again we covered that prior let's do a quick date update then we're going to get to the actual topic of the show date updates new trailer for the netflix resident evil series it's going to be releasing july 14th the show there's a new trailer for the uh series though if you want to check that out it looks 
like Resident Evil. I will try it out, probably. I hope it's good. Mm. There will be a Capcom showcase June 13th, 3 p.m. Pacific. It's going to be around 35 minutes. And it says, quote, news and in-depth updates on previously announced Capcom titles. So do not expect anything new. They are very much saying this is updates to previously announced titles. There will You're be... Not- an- <laughs> yeah, they're like, you know, temporary expectation, everybody. Xbox Game Showcase Extended will be on June 14th at 10 a.m. Pacific. This is going to be about an hour and a half, and it's going to be an extended version of the showcase. Do not expect anything here. This is in-depth look at things at the showcase. So whatever we see at the showcase, I assume there's going to be more enhanced version of that here. And this is kind of... uh, I like putting in Game Pass games. I saw the Epic Games uh free game of the month is man eater make yep. sure you go check that out go grab Such it that is a, an alex approved game from when we started the podcast i remember that is one of the mm-hmm. first things we did we did an e3 show and that was your game of the show for that uh, mm-hmm. for that year you brought up man eater and it came out like three years later or something like that and it was an rpg where you played as a shark and it was good so make, make sure to grab that for free if you have a pc and you can download epic games launcher they just give it to you. Game and I'm working on the platinum now. Nice, Alex. That's the news for the show. And usually we that's ask it. you, I end the show with a singular question, but I won't because we are going to actually do what the title of this show says. What We're going to predict the showcase that happens <gasps> in about two days. Two days, as of as of recording, probably uh, about a day as of seeing. Yeah, Alex, I have brought to you predictions for this xbox showcase i wanted all of the leaks and things to happen that's why it's so late so maybe next year we'll do it a little earlier but i like mm-hmm. everything everything that will leak to leak i like a certain things happening i don't like doing it too early i feel like this is a little too late but i i we don't really have that much time to mix with our scheduling so this is kind of the best of both worlds for us so mm-hmm. i want to predict five things that will be at the Xbox showcase. We will okay. be counting what is correct. Now, Achievers, for everyone who does not know, I have a specific ranking system. So, your prediction is a single point. Okay. You can get bonus points. They're technically bonus half points with every specific you add. For instance, um, if you had guessed uh what last year no two years ago whenever they announced fabled if you would have guessed uh playground games will debut uh their remake of fabled and it will be a cgi trailer that would technically be two whole points you got playground games right your overall prediction was correct so that was a whole point and you got another half point for saying uh a cgi trailer okay so that is technically two points your whole thing was true and you got two specifics right if you said okay. Fabled was announced and it had a date of next year, that would only be half a point. So you only really got half of that right. So you're only about a point what five if, on that scale. What if you uh, predicted like a certain game? Okay. They, you say release window, but okay. they actually give you a title. Do you get that point because you said mm-hmm. release window? or no i would probably count that as a 0.25 now we get very specific when we get to there but technically your specific is correct specifics here i want my points yeah yeah if you get the month correct but not the physical date i'm fine with that but if you get the month so if you say the month of october and it's october 29th i would count that as a 0.5 okay now alex i would just give it to you as starting us off but there's a for sure i know it's going to be on your list bona fide point so what i'm going to do is i have a d20 right here this is a d20 die Ooh, you bring I'm, going, that- I'm going to roll this d20 die and i'm going to let you choose even or odds and if it's what you choose you will be starting us off alex what is your choice even or odds even all right, he has said even. So if it's odds, I will start us off. And it is. No, hold on. I got to redo it. It's fell. Alex. Hmm. I rolled a one. Okay. I will be taking a picture. So that is odd. So I will be starting us off. I will, of course, take a picture. 
Okay. Now we'll show the achievers to ensure there was no shenanigans. Can you see that? That is a one. I do see that. That is a one. So I will be starting us off. Alex, mm. I know this is on your list because I know you. Avowed okay. will be shown. It will have an extensive yeah. gameplay trailer. It will show mm. a release date of mid-2023. It will say probably summer or uh, something of that mm. nature. But it will say mid-2023. I will, I will say uh, uh, from May to what? Probably July-ish. So that would probably be mid-2023. Avowed will be okay. shown. I am pretty confident. That's one of those... I'm not really risking anything with that, but that guarantees me at least a point there. That guarantees me a point. And when I say extensive gameplay, we're going to see fighting. We're going to see spells. We're going to see cool stuff. Alex, what do you think of that prediction? And was that correct? Did you have that? So that was almost exactly on point. Oh, with what you said. Mine is a avowed gameplay with release window early 2023. So between february and april so like march april somewhere around there okay yeah it's, yeah so that's pretty close yeah i think uh the only reason i think it won't be there is because of the starfield redfall delay i think that delay now pushes a out back because mm. i think uh i think uh starfield redfall these i don't have predictions for those two games so i'm i'm just spitballing i'm just saying like yeah. if those two get, get get pushed to like early of next year then you mm. you can't also throw out avowed so yeah you, you gotta like space those releases out so i think that also pushes about uh, back a bit that's why i went mm. with mid but no, we don't know when they were how long they were delayed for though we don't but technically uh, redfall was going to come out like in august ish and starfield was november so that gives you kind of a window if it was delayed two to three months i am assuming starfield was about three months so i, I won't be shocked yeah, if it comes out february march more. i feel like it would be more maybe Alex, yep. that was mm -hmm. my first. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. One. What is your first prediction? Uh, now, are we throwing in the fucking crazy ones first or are we saving those for last? I have some pretty crazy ones. So you want to save those for last? You go with what your heart says. Do you want to play for points okay. or do you want to go for crazy stuff? All right. Let's go for points first. Um, I think it's safe to do that. I think it's safe. Go, okay. go for some points in the early, and then let's have some fun at okay. the end. Okay, so I'm going to say we're going to see f the new Forza Motorsport, and the okay. release date is the fall of this year. Okay, that's a fucking safe-ass one. That is safe, but it gets you the points. I respect it. Yep. You have to have a couple point givers. Um, I think that's... <laughs> I, 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 Alex, I think that's a fucking slam dunk. Like, There's no yep. way you're not getting that point, so you're getting it. Um. Yep. I'm uh, yeah, yeah yeah this guaranteed I I I can't wait because motorsport I always love looking at never play it but I love looking at it I played a couple and I mean they're not bad but like they're not as fun as Horizon because you can do way more Forza Horizon yeah definitely yep. <sighs> what's your next one not because you took a vow I don't know if I can do that one no 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 once it, no, once no. It, once it's taken. You can't yeah, what's a second? Yeah, so, yeah, I, yeah. so okay. like if you say one of mine, I ha I have to get rid of it. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. That's why I rolled for. I was like, we have to figure out because I know it's gonna be one of our first ones. Yep, I'm so excited for that game because this looks like so much like it looks cool. so cool. Oh my god, yeah. Obsidian, a Skyrim game basically. Yeah, come on. Yeah, Jesus Christ. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for it. Go, this go, is go this is another kind of given, but I want I need, I want to say it. State of Decay 3 is going to be shown. Okay. We'll be have a gameplay trailer. It will be given a date of this year. And I'm going to say it's going to be... Uh, I, I think it's going to be... Early holiday. So... September, so October. September? Alright, alright. Yeah, September, October. I, I had State of Decay 3 on my thing too. What do, was yours as specific? My, as, what, like, what were your what were my was like State of the K three first look gameplay with possible window? Okay, okay, that's yeah. that's pretty safe. All right, so that is my second prediction, Alex. What is your second prediction? I'm having way way too much fun. <laughs> this is fun. All right. Um. So all right, we're gonna see more of Arc two gameplay with a release date. 
Oh, okay, okay. So, this was the one that I was like, I couldn't remember if it was exclusive, and they did say that it was exclusive to Xbox. Okay, who is yeah. developing that? I don't remember. Let me make sure. Uh, Ark 2. I don't, who, who develops Ark? Uh, Studio Wildcard. Okay. Yeah, you found that way faster than I did. I couldn't find it. <laughs> I just do Arc Developer comes up. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, Studio Wirecard both develop and publishes it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But so I just want to make sure it wasn't a first party. It's not. It, it, but yeah, but if they have a partnership, yeah, I definitely I I definitely think it could be here. Yeah. I don't I, think that's I, a crazy think, one. Yeah, I feel like we'll see. I feel like we'll see. Uh, cause what when we saw it last time, we got a Vin Diesel CGI trailer. <laughs> we sure did. I so was this, so confused at what that was. I is no it? I, 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 this is not my, pre, my part of my prediction, but it'll be hilarious if we see his ass on stage again. Talk about Arc Two. Oh my God! He comes back out on Arc and is like, "This is like a lot of times high out of his mind, barely able to talk." Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I would love. It's that. all about family. <laughs> it's a fa Arc's about family. God fucking damn! But yeah, I think we're gonna see a gameplay of it, and uh, we'll see a release a release date. This one's a pretty crazy one because I don't think people think it's real, but I, I almost am positive it is. Okay. A Gears of War collection will be announced, very similar and akin to the Mas uh, Master Chief collection. Um, like the mm. rumors, it will be true. It will be a celebration of the franchise. It will have a very similar aesthetic to Mas uh, Master Chief collection, giving its online this kind of uh, Gears 1, 2, 3 featuring, and it will have a release date of... I want to say late holiday, but I'm not confident. I almost want to say early next year, and I'm going to say early next year. All right. I'm going to say January. So, so I had something similar, but it was not Gears. Oh, are you going to say it? Will that be your third prediction? You know what? Yeah. Okay. Hit me. Fables 1, 2, and 3 collection. Oh! It's a possible remaster. Like, it's fully from, from the ground. Like, you know, it looks like looks a lot better. Yeah. If if not, and I put if not, they'll definitely boost it to all the games are 60 frames, mm. HDR, things like that. You gotta pick something. I'd say you pick one or the other. Mm. Do you think it's remade, remastered, or so the re-releases? Like, I, I think I with think a re-release, all they like, do is put it to 60, and it looks the same. Remaster, it's in 4K, but it kind of looks the same. And like a remake is like it's you you put two pictures like, together, you can barely tell. It's not a remake. Okay. Like like you know how they did with Last of Us Part One. How yeah, they Part One. Yeah, yeah. No, not, no, not like that. So it's, it's just it's just remaster. It's, it's, it's 4K up, 60 frames. It looks slightly colors are better. Yeah, but not much different. Mm, okay. Do you have a so release ish? you don't have to but you get the chance of a uh, another uh, half I know, point I know. and you get a little spicy spring of 2023 <laughs> okay all right this you can tell we're gonna be fucking wrong because like our uh, th this is like the best year xbox ever seen if this is if even half of this is true this is like the best year xbox has ever seen we're so wrong but i'm so excited you're right <laughs> it's, funny. it's funny because they keep talking it was like oh we have so many games this year but i'm putting everything for next year <laughs> <laughs> okay so all right i did the gears one Fuck. I have so many fun ones. Okay. <sighs> I could do that one. That's not fun. I'm going to save those two for last. I'm going to say Indiana Jones is shown a CGI trailer. Mm. No, nothing is given. They're just going to show a little trailer. It's going to be kind of like a reminder. Hey, we're making this game. It'll be one of those yeah. things where it's really meant to get devs to come to the studio to work with them. Kind of like an advertisement type thing where a lot of games okay. kind of do that to like kind of remind people like, hey, we're making Indiana Jones. Come work with us. I understand that this is heavily rumored to be gameplay focused, mm -hmm. but 
Xbox is no stranger to uh, having lots of CGI trailers. So I really think there will be a CGI look at this Indiana Jones game. Uh, it'll be kind of like a concept look at the game. It'll show like what you would think like gameplay might look like with him running around like some sort of underground hmm. tunnel thing. Uh, but nothing will be given. No year and no date. Like no, nothing. It'll just end. It'll be like, you know, okay. Bethesda. Whatever. Okay. Hmm. What number is this? Number four? This is the fourth prediction. So your fourth prediction. So you only have one left after this. Okay. I might do one more because I have another one. Now, so I think we're gonna we're gonna see we're finally gonna see Perfect Dark. Oh, that's one of mine. And I feel like we're gonna. I feel like, but and I feel like they're gonna do it because they delayed it. They'll be like, I, I don't. I, if they, if it wasn't delayed, I don't feel like they would have shown it. But because they delayed it, I feel like they could be like, well, we'll just show it, you know, kind of as an apology. So okay. like, it's, I feel like they're gonna. I think they'll show gameplay. Mm, maybe a release like 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 year like like maybe like f- like fall 2023 i'll give it that so you think they will say fall 2023 i would say just 2023 so you think it'll end 2023 I mean, 23 yeah now you said gameplay trailer so you think we're seeing this is what the game looks like you like she has a gun you're walking around and shit no no cgi trailer it, it, so what do you so what, like what we see normally, like you know, we're like, like to where like, oh, it, it hmm, how do I say it? Let's see. What I mean mm. is, like, you have a controller and you're playing the game. Like it looks like you, like it looks like someone is playing the game in front of you, versus like Aliens: Stark Descent at Games Fest, and it was like a bunch of snippets of the game randomly. I think it's just a bunch of the snippets of the game randomly. Okay, so just like a gameplay look, not really Ga- a yeah, gameplay Ga- trailer. Ga- yeah, yeah, it's not 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 full on like hands on gameplay, but yeah. like kind of like a real. Okay, yeah, yeah. I can see that. Because we already because we already got like a CGI like teaser. We got the CGI not, thing where like she was standing the there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the teaser. Now we need the actual trailer, and then we'll get gameplay. Um. Also, Alex, I'm gonna put. I wanted to do this, but I I I didn't do it at at the uh, at the beginning. But I'm okay. going to quickly initiate it so you have time to think about it. Okay. There will be a double point free-for-all. All right. High in the sky, Hail Mary. Okay. So this is one that is for fun, but you get triple the points if it's right. But yeah. you have to be a little crazy. So, for <laughs> instance... uh. I have a crazy one, but I don't know if I I don't feel like it, it's going to happen, but it's I, I but want that's it that's kind of the point. Like, it's something kind of crazy where it's like you'll get two to three points depending on how crazy it is. OK, Um, but it's meant to it's kind of not meant to happen. It's kind of for fun because I have one that is like, yeah, I have it's one. probably not going to happen. But if it does happen, people are going to fucking freak out. Now, is this will, will this be our will this be an extra or will this be our fifth? This will this will no, this will be a sixth technically. OK, OK, then I'll save it. OK, cool. All right, so number five mm, for right. my list. I'm stuck between... Ah! Stuck between two. I can't do... I had the initiative shows up and Dave used Perfect Dark gameplay. I can't do that anymore. If I'm right about this... <laughs> I'm going to go with the specific one. Okay. Okay. Zenimax Studios debuts a Star Wars MMO centered around being a bounty hunter, potentially based on the Mandalorian's gameplay that we saw early this year. No day okay. given. Okay. There's rumors that they're working on some MMO alongside Elder Scrolls Online. We don't know what it is. There was a rumor that it might be Mandalorian focused. I think it's just a bounty hunter MMO. Mm-hmm. And you could be a Mandalorian. Okay. This is kind of crazy one, but I really do think they are working on another MMO of some kind. Mm-hmm. And I really think Microsoft has the money to be able 
to talk a very willing clearly very willing um uh lucas films into giving them some ip to work with clearly lucas films is no no worry of shopping around their ip to make games they are in a frenzy of making deals with all these games coming out soon like we have i think we have five star wars games in development or something like that so like there's a lot coming so i yeah. think i don't think this is crazy this doesn't uh i know some people are saying like you know star wars the old republic's out now it is but it's older it's from a long time ago and this doesn't really step into it because i think it really will be like a bounty hunter type thing so you so you're not confused with the other game yeah you might be able to be a smuggler kind of guy um but i i that's one of the ones where i won't be shocked if i'm wrong honestly but if i'm right like fuck yeah okay it's hard to pick because i have th- i have one that it's gonna it's like a potential like point one yeah but then i have two fucking crazy ones that i want to say yeah i know we're gonna have to once we finish i'll i'll read you the rest of the, of the ones i have to um Fuck. To just kind of thing but it is hard i had a, i had a few that i was like this probably gets me a point but this is fucking fun There's one that's like not super fun, but it get, probably gets me a point for creativity. Okay. We'll see Gear Six. Oh, really? Whoa. Okay. Okay. Are you throwing any specifics? Or are you just going Gear Six? I think it's gonna be one of those like like see like like one of those like trailers where like it's it doesn't show much but you hear like you hear like kind of like somebody talking in the background like he's like you know it could be one of the main characters be like oh they're just saying like some type of monologue and like you know there's not much going on and then i don't know where you just see boom you see the gears logo pop up and i have a feeling i mean it's not part of the like if they release or not but i have a feeling somebody's going to die that's the main person yeah, so so, we'll so, so it might be a very dire kind of trailer. Mm-hmm. Like, like it's gonna be like, oh shit. Okay, but yeah, okay. I think, I think, I think, yeah, I think Gear Six. I like that. I like it because it's I, bold. Uh, mm-hmm. Now my crazy one is just like I have two to pick, and I'm like, oh. Okay, well, while you think, I'll go with my crazy one. Okay. There will be a Fallout New Vegas remaster coming in the Fuck next you. few months. Okay, at least you said it. Yep. That was my crazy one. That is no way it is true. There's no way it's true. But if it is, bro, if it is. I'll go back to that game so hard. Yeah. I thought I, this was a, a, a toss up between Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3. New Vegas. I think 3 might be a better chance, honestly. But because. Because I think, um, because I, I wouldn't, because I think the Thesda themselves were probably messing around with Fallout 3. Uh, and it just in the background, maybe testing stuff or maybe just to have like a random remaster to, to kind of throw out to make some quick money. And I, I think Fallout 3 is a much bigger chance at being remastered, but. Which one do you think is more loved though? New Vegas. But yeah. circumstance makes Fallout 3 more likely. I think it's more likely Bethesda was working on a Fallout 3 than them working on a New Vegas, which is a game they didn't even so, make. Well, Obsidian did. Yeah, because I was going to say, so do you think they could do a double pack even though they're two different? <sighs> they're like Fallout 3, New best Vegas. In, best of both worlds, man. Fallout 3 oh, remaster with oh, a New oh, Vegas yeah. tie-in? Like, that'd be awesome. No, mm-hmm. but that would be okay. awesome. Okay. I wouldn't be shocked if the rumors are true. It's I think they're what's one of those rumors that I was like, that sounds too good to be true. There's a rumor that they're trying to see if they can uh, workshop a new Vegas. Uh, sequel from Obsidian, mm-hmm. which is if that's fucking true, dude, I'm oh. going to lose my goddamn mind. I think that's one of those rumors like that sounds a little too good to be true. So, um, but I think uh, I think my thing is Fallout New Vegas remaster announced and it's coming within the next few months. I think mm-hmm. Fallout Three might be more likely, but mm-hmm. just for fun, I'll say New Vegas. Okay. 
Now, mine's mine's crazy, but it's also it could be possible in a fucking crazy world. No, we'll see a new Quake game. New Quake game. So just it's so when you say new Quake, is it like is it like it comes out and it's like Quake and it's just Quake and it's like a whole new so, thing or what? So my thing is like I don't I, I because we have Quake champions on console, uh, not console, PC. We're PC. never getting that on console. Um, they just re-released Quake One on on the system. Like they just did like a little like re like, was it a remaster for the Quake One for for the first yeah, Quake? They did. They re-released just, it. It wasn't a remaster. I don't think they just re-released two and three. Like why? Like I mean, like so. My thing is like I have a fee, and they've done Doom. We they just recently did Doom, so I don't feel like they can't. It can't be another Doom. And Wolfenstein, I I don't know. Uh, the last uh, I like think the Wolfenstein, one, I think Wolfenstein is in development. I don't think it's ready to be shown. I think we'll see. Yeah, I don't think we'll see anything with that. I but I have so like well, all I could think of was like okay, what else does ID? Damn, that would have been a good. That would have been a good um prediction though. Fall, but yes. Wolfenstein three debut. Yeah, it's yeah. It's, I think it's gonna be something something quick related. I you don't think, know what it would be, but I was, it's going to be some type, some new Quake IP. It could be mobile. It could be something on PC. But like, I feel like it's going to or or some like maybe like they'll try to do the Quake. And I don't know, Quake Four was kind of like, mm. but I feel like it's something Quake related. I don't think you're crazy. It Software was released Doom Eternal in twenty nineteen. I want to say. You said Doom Eternal? Yeah. Was that 2019? I think so. Let me see. And then they released um, uh, uh, Old Gods DLC. 2020, March 20, 2020. Okay, so it was March. So, so right before the pandemic. Mm-hmm. Um, March. Yeah, March 2020. Um, sorry, um, that threw me off. Uh, so yeah, it did that. They released two DLCs. You don't need the full team for that, although those are huge DLCs. I don't think uh, you need the full team. Then they went to go mess with the. They probably touched up those Quake things that you were saying. Uh, they were updating Quake Champions. Last year was its twenty fifth anniversary. Okay, so you could say like anniversary thing, but they missed the twenty five. I mean, they. I guess yeah. they didn't because they're doing Quake Champions. Uh, I'm reading a, right here a rumor that um that were that they are supporting development of Redfall, which isn't uncommon. But supporting could mean a lot of things. Could mean ten people. Could mean half their staff. Who knows? Um, yeah. I don't think you're crazy. I, I I don't at all. I think that's a pretty good. I think that's a pr- that is a good crazy one because it's not super easy to say. It has had enough time to make a Quake one, but it's pretty good and it's huge. It has it's it has a lot of uh, what's their headcount? It software headcount. I want to see their headcount because they could definitely. I think they have a shit ton of people over there, like hundred plus see. easily. Yeah, because when was this? when was Quake work Con? there? Yeah, because it's always Quake hard. Con. It's always hard to find like how many people. How many people work? It's yeah, celebrating, bad. celebrating. Yeah, I mean, let's talk quick. Yeah, I don't know, like, I have hey, a yeah, feeling. This is a huge. This is a huge guess. Anywhere between like eighty to two hundred people. Oof. It looks like so. Like, who knows? And like that could escalate to like who's full time, who's mm. contracting, and so you know, I, I, I'm having issues finding out specifics, but. As yeah. far as I remember, they're a pretty big team. They, they're, I think they have around a hundred people on 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 staff. That's that's enough people to sparse up some support with Redfall to help with Doom Eternal to also get some Quake Champion stuff and work out something to be able to then announce a Quake thing. Mm-hmm. And let's not forget this is called Xbox and Bethesda. Yeah, Alex, that was fun. <laughs> that is all the ones that we have. Those those are the stamped 
predictions right there, Alex. Do you want to go ahead and get into our ones that we didn't talk about? Uh, let's see. I'll do mine really quick. Uh, yeah, sure. I, this I, was I, my I, like just one. <laughs> this was my like kind of creative one. I have like three left. There was one that there's one I have okay. four, but one's kind of whatever. I Propulsion gotcha. Games debut debuts their new title. It's date for late next year. It you know they they are definitely working on something, but that's mm. not a really fun prediction. I feel. Gotcha. What's yours? Uh, I just said um, we'll finally we'll finally see Starfield, and they'll give their their new release date. Okay, so a gameplay, yeah, that's a that's a good one. So it'll be like yeah, so it'll be like hey, a point. So, huh? I said that's a good, yeah that's a good one it guarantees you a point like that's a, that's a good one seen anything, and since they're delaying it you know they'll be like hey here's some foot here's some gameplay and here's our new window or like our new release date uh you took my perfect dark one um there's rumors uh and i said that they're true that there's a marvel marvel game uh being developed at xbox under the bethesda branch there's a okay. rumor that there is a marvel uh game at i don't remember the studio off the top of my head um uh, but i was like yeah it's true and they debut it here um but it would have been a cgi trailer so it's one of those things where like how many cgi trailers am i going to give them it is primarily gameplay focused so who knows i said the Zenimax one uh oh and ubisoft plus is added to game pass it is live today um it is a smaller version than the full ubisoft plus and that's all Hmm. That's all I have. Some, some, you know, eh, some like the Ubisoft platform is like, eh, it's not really fun. Alex, thank you so much for joining me for this predictions. This was really fun. We got to do these more often. That was, that was good. They, we rarely have events that justify really sitting down and really seeing if we can predict what's going to, it's going to happen. Mm-hmm. So that's always, that was, that was really fun. I think that's one of the first times we've ever done that. We did a couple of E3 predictions shows, but I think we've really set into the industry a lot more than we did back then. Like we, we you and me like know a lot more than we did uh, back then. So this was yeah. very fun to do. Um, we've been doing this for about two hours now. So we're going to let y'all go because we need to go to bed. But do you think we'll see the streaming stick? Did you see the rumor um, that it is not a stick? It is a fucking box. So look it up real quick. It's it, it might be a hundred uh, bucks, and it looks like a box. Uh, let me see. So, uh, hold on, Xbox streaming stick. Who? I, it was a reputable outlet. Um, th- theorizing. Um. How about that, that little square box looking thing? Something like that. Can... Yeah. It, 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 were people calling it like the Xbox like Series Y or something like that? Yeah, they were theorizing that this was this might be what it would actually look like versus just like a little stick that puts it in. Mm. I think it was people more lines of saying it's not really a stick versus it could just be a box that you get, but it's just yeah. a really small box. Mm. Um I'm not seeing. Yeah, we don't have too many concrete details, so I think that was people just kind of guessing. Gotcha. Of like, what's what's something we could see? Jesus, this place is riddled with ads. Get me out of here. <laughs> so ads all over my screen. There we go. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that was that was wild. I I. I won't be shocked. I mean, they'll definitely probably do a quick Game Pass thing where it's like Samsung TVs. Um, st- you know, the streaming stick is actually that crazy. We actually might see that. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I think you might be right on that one. I think we actually might see finally what the thing looks like. But I've been saying that for three years, I think, because they've been saying this thing's coming for like ever. I thought of, we talked about this, I think, last week or the week before. I thought this thing would have already been out. If you would have talked to me three years ago, I would have been like, yeah, it's probably out by 2022. Like, I would have said that's a given. But clearly, something happened that they can't get it out that, you know, doesn't justify releasing it yet. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us this week. This was a great week for talking games. 
As a reminder, you can like, comment, subscribe to help the algorithms. Those are all free ways to support the show. You can go over to patreon.com if you'd like to support us financially. Thank you so much. Until we see you, and we will see you for a Xbox Showcase breakdown. So we'll see how right we were. Uh, I will be shocked if we get a if either of us get point five. I'll be happy if we if either of us can walk away with a full point, Alex. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. We're gonna go sleep, and until then, go chief, go chief. <laughs>